This is straight from Para. Hani. Hani is a, is a, Hani's visa to Australia was approved in November. He is a 23-year-old Palestinian accountant and a nephew of an Australian citizen, left Gaza in late February. His visa was checked at Cairo Airport on 13th of March, and when he boarded the flight to Istanbul with a connecting flight to Australia, during his flight in Istanbul, his sponsoring family received the email of his visa cancellation. Shame! Yay! Now, Hani attempted to go back to Cairo. However, he no longer had a valid visa to Egypt. So he is stuck in Istanbul Airport. Yay! Now, Para are trying to get him money as soon as possible so that they can buy him a change of clothes. He's only wearing the clothes that he has on his back. Can you imagine that? He's only got clothes that he's wearing at the moment. He is completely alone. It's his first time that he boards a plane. How, how, what is our government doing? Shame! Second story. Lami is a journalist from Gaza. Together with his wife and three children and father, they arrived in Cairo and left for Istanbul on the 14th of March with visas to Australia to reunite with their families. Upon landing in Istanbul, Rami and his wife were advised they could not board the flight to Australia. However, that because their visas are cancelled, but their children, two, six, and ten years old, and their grandfather were allowed to continue. Disgraceful. Rami and his wife refused to be separated from their children, and they are now in the transit hotel in Istanbul, and their luggage is not even there. It has still made its way here to Australia. The hotel rooms cost $700 a night and food and essential items are unaffordable and they cannot leave the airport just like Hani. This is what our government has decided to do. Not only have they cancelled visas, which is unethical and shameful, they cancelled visas mid-flight. Mid-flight! Shame on our government! And that is why I speak up. This is the settler colonial mindset that still runs deep in the minister's minds. How dare they treat us like this? They've denied us safety. And now they deny us life. They deny us refuge. Shame on our government. We felt minimized. Now we feel disregarded. We feel like we are nothingness. This is why we're protesting week in, week out. And yet they continue to do shit like this. Shame on our government. And that's what I want to say to the labor ministers and labor governments. We condemn you, we deplore you, and fuck you. Yeah.